Hello children welcome to your maths class today we are going to start with the topic of symmetry and patterns let us understand what is symmetry a figure is said to be symmetrical if it can be divided into two equal identical halves of same shape and size a line which divides the figure into equal halves is known as line of symmetry or axis of symmetry a figure may have one or more lines of symmetry let us see with an example what is line of symmetry and how a figure can have more lines of symmetry here this is a square and as you all know that it has all four sides equal so it can have four lines of symmetry vertical horizontal diagonal and another diagonal from left to right rectangle it has two lines of symmetry vertical and horizontal a rhombus this also has two lines of symmetry vertical and horizontal kite it can have only one line of symmetry if we try to divide it horizontally those two parts will not be equal or identical an isosceles trapezoid this has one line of symmetry isosceles trapezoid means the one which has two sides equal this is another type of trapezoid here you can see this side is longer than the left side so this figure does not have any line of symmetry such type of figures are called asymmetrical figures coming to equilateral triangle an equilateral triangle is a triangle which has all the sides equal in length so this has three lines of symmetry vertical and this way and the other way isosceles triangle the one which has two equal sides such type of triangles have only one line of symmetry let's make it more clear by doing it ourselves here are some figures and we have to draw the line of symmetry of these pictures the first one is the flower in a circular shape so this can have one line of symmetry like this another like this then a vertical one okay now moving to butterfly butterfly has only one line of symmetry that is in the center if you see this figure it is a star which is same from all sides and it has five corners so a star of such shape can have five lines of symmetry starting from each corner like this coming to the yellow figure it has only one line of symmetry that is vertical coming to the circle vertical then now you see in this circle it has five lines of symmetry but we can draw many more lines of symmetry a circle is same from all the sides so any line passing through its center will divide it into two identical halves so any shape which is circular that can have infinite number of lines of symmetry right for, for example if we take a round clock that will also have 
infinite lines of symmetry if we take a tire of a cycle that will also have infinite lines of symmetry similarly this shape it is also kind of circular shape this can also have many more lines of symmetry that is one horizontal or other ways also coming to the last figure it is a heart shape this has only one line of symmetry these are the alphabets which we use in our languages now some of them are symmetrical some of them are asymmetrical you can see all the letters above a b c d e h i m o t u v w x y k all these are symmetrical they have either one line of symmetry or more than one lines of symmetry but the one which are at the bottom f g j l n p q r s z all these are asymmetrical alphabets they do not have any line of symmetry if we try to draw any line of symmetry of these that will not divide it into two equal identical halves symmetrical half or the mirror images these are the images which are exactly the same on the both sides left hand side and right hand side of the line of symmetry we try to complete the one given in the example the first one is already done it is a square which is exactly same on both the sides now let's see the other one this completes a heart the next one completes a triangle oval hexagon and a rhombus and the last one is a rectangle we have drawn the other half which completes the figure exactly the same nets of 3d shapes now we know that 3d shapes like cube cuboid we uh, are formed by a certain use of certain nets these are the nets a cube has six squares joined together a cuboid has four rectangles and two squares joined together triangular prism three rectangles and two triangles a cylinder you will be surprised to know that it is formed by a rectangle and two circles pyramid there are four triangles and a square pyramids can be of different shapes some have square bottoms some have rectangular bottoms so accordingly the center part will be different continuing the same topic it is now we will discuss about patterns tessellation tessellations are designs that fit into each other without any gaps or overlapping when we form any design without any gaps such kind of patterns usually you find in your house where tiles are there like in the bathrooms or floor tiles or wall tiles let's see some examples of this now you can see there are six patterns drawn in front of you and you see that each pattern or each tile is fixed with the other without any gap and they are forming a beautiful designs also here square tiles are used alternatively red and yellow here there are arrows which are fixed in two different directions one from left to right and other from right to left here square tiles are fitted together with a small diamond or rhombus shaped tile same way the other two designs are also created using multiple uh, tiles 
you can uh, you must have seen the examples of such kind of tiles in or the uh, tessellation patterns when you make jigsaw puzzles to complete any design you fix them together they should not overlap they should not there should not be any gaps also so that is a jigsaw puzzle is also a very good example of tessellation moving further in shape patterns only these are the shape patterns such patterns follow some rule to make it more to continue the pattern red blue red blue red so according to this rule the next one should be blue then red then blue and then again red now here a yellow triangle green rectangle yellow triangle green rectangle yellow triangle now next should be green then yellow then green and then yellow now upward arrow then right arrow down arrow up arrow right arrow down arrow and we will follow the color sequence also down is supposed to be purple up is supposed to be pink and right is yellow right next red black red black red black red black now these patterns are not only following the shape pattern but they are also following the color patterns two brown one blue two brown one blue similarly we will continue this pattern also and the last ones are stars number patterns they apply some logic also now if you see this 300 298 296 294 in each case there is minus 2 so the next number will be 292 1 4 9 can you guess the rule yes these are the square numbers 1 1s are 1 2 2s are 4 3 3s are 9 4 4s are 16 5 5s are 25 So the next will be six six za thirty six ten twenty thirty forty. Oh, this one is very easy. Plus ten, that is fifty. Shapes can or patterns can be created not only by joining some shapes. but by rotating or turning some shapes also now here we all know something about fractions that when we talk about quarter turn that means the turn is only 1/4 if we talk about half turn then it is complete half 3 quarters that means it started from here and it turned till here and full turn means that from where it started it ended there only now here is an example now you can see there is a triangle with a dot which is facing upward this is the image now if we make a quarter turn of it that is starting from where it is quarter is 1/4 this way so if we try to turn it the black dot will be now this side right half turn half turn means starting from here and turning till here so black dot will be downward now let's see like this if it is a 3/4 turn then that means 1/4 and then again half till here and one more one four turn that means the dot should be this side now let's see how it is coming yes this way and full turn means from where we started 
we ended there only that is the straight figure as it was in the beginning so i hope this is also clear to you the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics do practice sums and you will master the concept thank you